welcome back to Friday Night Frights. And this week we're going to show off some uh, few comic books that I got, mostly horror stuff. I do have two that, you know, is, I guess you consider just like monster related or whatever. Uh, the rest of them are uh, some horror books. So uh, let's get right into this and show you. The first one is, the, these are the ones that I'm talking about. It's not exactly considered horror, I guess. But this is a King Kong one that I got. Um, I got this a few years ago off of uh, my buddy Jason at Spookables. I just thought it was pretty cool. Never had no King Kong uh, books. I'm thinking it came out maybe in the 90s. I'm trying to look at the price on it. It was $1.95 at the time. So, But it had a cool cover on it. Don't even have a number listed on it. I guess it's just a one of one or whatever. So that's pretty cool. And then the other one I got from him too was a uh, another King Kong. I love the cover on this one. So yeah, anything with Kong and Godzilla, you know, there's got to get. These are in the sleeves with the backs and boards and stuff. The rest of them I don't even have no sleeves for. I got really cheap, but uh, yeah, these weren't too bad. I think I paid like five or six bucks for both of them together. So I got a bunch of other stuff that day or whatever. So yeah, the official adaptation of the fantasy classic. So this one actually is like based off of the movie. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure about that other one. Next up, I've got some DC books to show you. This is the 200th thrilling issue of Unexpected. And this one's uh, it was 40 cents when it first came out. Um, I like the Unexpected books. Um, I'm not really sure what year this came out. Probably in the 80s, I'd say. It looks like it's <clears throat> 1980, I believe. But uh, it's got a pretty nice cover. Check out the back of this one. The uh, Spouting um, basketball stuff. I think that's like Dr. J or something, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it looks cool. So, yeah. Um, another one here. I think this one's before. No, this one's after that. It's 216, The Face of the Samurai Nightmare. Unexpected. DC book here. I think most of these are from the 80s. Uh, I'd like to be able to get some stuff from uh, the 70s and stuff. This is a cool thing on the back for models. You just love that kind of stuff. Let's see what's inside of it. Any some artwork. I really love the artwork and the just the pages and everything all together from the 70s and 80s the best. I just, uh, I don't really like glossy pages and stuff like some of these new comics are. Uh, but yeah, you can check out some pictures from inside there. Uh, next one up's got a pretty cool cover too. This is um, number 203 of The Unexpected. Uh, eight more pages of fantastic story and art. Hands down your head. That's what it says, so. Yeah, I love these unexpected books. Um, there's so many books from the 70s and 80s, man. There's just so many other cool horror ones. Uh, and I bought these at a um, um, little, like, uh, antique place this old man was running. Check out the back of that. Oh, Daisy. Uh, I had one of them when I was a kid, the BB guns. But uh, he had a bunch of them on a shelf. He's on two dollars a piece. I tried to knock the old guy down to a dollar a piece, and he wouldn't do it. So I was like, "All right, I'll just pay you two dollars then." Next one is um, number two hundred eight. This one's pretty cool. Really cool cover. Check this out. Got a little bit of the same storyline as uh, I think the the two hundred six one had. So it went on for a few few there. But check out the back of this one. This is. These are racetrack cars on the back of that one. That's really cool. I remember back in the 80s, growing up, I remember having a racetrack and just loved that kind of stuff, man. Uh, you'd, you'd hit the gas so damn fast and pull the trigger to fly off the damn track. Anybody remember sea monkeys? Yeah, there's inside the sea monkeys. <laughs> uh, let's see what other, if I can find another crazy looking ad. <clears throat> I used to remember there's one here's some ads here for different things. But there used to be one more like for X ray eyes. You remember that where it showed the guy with the X ray eyes and he's looking at a girl and it shows her in her dress and you can see like the bones or something underneath and I was like, What? It's like 
it just goes through to close the witching hour. This is cool at the end of it right here. But uh, yeah, it is pretty decent uh, ones that he had there. Uh, this one's called, um, this is number 209. Still got that dude in it, uh, Johnny Pearl, it looks like. So it's a continuation of some of the stories there, but that's a pretty cool cover, unexpected. And on the back of this is, oh, this looks like models. Yeah, tractor trailer models. That's really cool. And look at this, not a dream, not a hoax. Now for the first time, four subscriptions for the price of three. This offer, this offer saves you 38% from uh, getting comics. Uh, that's a pretty cool little ad in there. Let's see what's on the back of the, the back one there. Remember these cash and prizes? Uh, <laughs> I always wanted to do that. Get to some of the prizes and stuff. I'd always look at them and stuff. So this, one's, this one's got some pretty cool art and stuff in it too. All that right there. Uh, and the last one that I got from that guy is number 212, Nightmare or Reality, Corpses in Quicksand. That's probably the best cover out of all of them. So, I, you know, this is just something I'll dabble in. If I get real cheap or whatever, I'm not getting online paying big bucks for some rare ones or graded ones or anything like that. It's mainly um, just um, if I find them cheap enough, maybe yard sale, flea market or antique store like I did here. Uh, here's some shoe ad with the guy on a BMX on the back of that. But yeah, that's nothing that I'm like trying to, you know, go out and search for all the time. Just if I get some cheap ones and stuff. It looks like there's another little story in the back of this one. If I can get the paper to open up. 100 toy soldiers. Maybe the toy soldiers for $1.98 it looks like it says. Yep, yeah, dollar ninety eight, right there. The toy soldiers. I had a ton of that shit when I was a kid. But uh, here's an ad for bubble yam, or bubble yum, bubble yam, bubble yum. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't beat the books from the eighties, man. They're just great uh, advertisements, just like the um, monster books and stuff. And anything else in between. Kung Fu, there's a little thing for a Kung Fu thing. So yeah, that's uh, just a few books that I had grabbed. I got from Jason. A few, it's probably been two, maybe over two years ago when I got all these right here. Um, I had at the time plan on just trying to resell them on eBay. And I was just like, well, I'll just keep them. You know, they didn't really want to seem to do good. Apparently they're nothing real, nothing real rare or expensive or anything like that so but anyway there's some uh old uh 80s dc horror for you and uh, when i get other ones and stuff i'll maybe do another video like this uh especially with the king kong ones i always love these i just found these in there last night i've got some other few little comics i used to collect comics um god it's it's been a while ago I collected for almost 10 years and I had a lot of good books and stuff and I collected a little bit of everything and it just got carried away just like everything else gets carried away and I finally ended up selling a lot of them made some good money on some of them but then you know then I was like I picked up some horror ones and I'm like these are really cool I mean look at that shit right there that's just cool so I was like every once in a while pick these up don't go crazy on them like I did before I had thousands of books I sold made some good money though but anyway, that's it for this Friday Night Frights. If you uh, got any horror comics or you know of any from the 70s and 80s, and you can jot down for me on a comment. Let me know how great they are, how cool they are. No Tales from the Crypt or anything like that in this issues, uh, <laughs> in this uh, video, because they're more expensive in case you do reprints. And uh, I like to find something reprints. It'd be really cool, because I'm definitely not going to pay big bucks for the originals. But uh, that's it for this Friday Night Frights. Thanks for joining me. And remember, this is Movie John, and I'm always filming.